we are not fools. Why don't you challenge Buhari all these years? Governor Nwike tackles the PDP candidate Atiku for not condemning lopsided appointment. Nwike criticized Atiku for not challenging Buhari despite knowing how unfair the president had favored the people from his region with several appointments. So guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are here for the first time, please kindly subscribe to our channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you once again. May God bless you all. Governor Yeltsin Wike of River State on Thursday tackled the presidential candidate of People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubaka, for not criticizing the lopsided appointment of President Muhammad Buhari. Mwike who spoke in Port Harcourt, the River State capital, when he hosted the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, at the venue of the Onkolo Oro Woroko flyover inauguration, criticized Atiku for not challenging Buhari despite knowing how unfair the president had favored the people from his region with several appointments. Recall that the PDP presidential flag bearer, Hartiku, had on Wednesday said his government would be run on national unity if elected as president in the 2023 general elections. Hartiku had said 17 heads of security agencies were not on us. He had promised to unify Nigeria by ensuring equity and fairness, as well as reflect the federal character system in appointment to government offices. But Wike described Atiku's comment as insincere and maintained that Nigerians should not be fooled again. He said, some people now are criticizing Buhari for appointing all the service chiefs from the north. Why did they not challenge Buhari since? Election has come. Who is fooling who? All these past seven years, you have not challenged Buhari, but election has come. Nobody can fool anybody, the River State Governor stated. Mwike therefore advised Atiku to start his government of national unity within the party by ensuring that Ayu stepped down as PDP national chairman. Mwike and four other PDP governors have been having a running battle with Atiku for months now. Knowing as the G5, the governor demand the resignation of Ayu, saying Northerners cannot occupy the seat and that of the party's presidential candidate. Some people said they will form a government of national unity. It is not to talk but start now to implement it. If you cannot implement the small one, it is the big is it the big one you will implement? I pity poor Nigerians. When I heard people go to town hall meetings and said all kinds of things, they say they will implement a restructuring, they will make sure that every zone will have a, a, a member in the Security Council, that it is not good for other zones to produce all the security chiefs, but it is good for the zone to occupy all party positions. You see how Nigerians are. The governor stated, Mwike further said he would not leave the party despite the crisis, but he would chase out the armed robbers within the party. Honestly speaking, I love this man's strength. And those people who are criticizing Mwike, eh? you are, you don't, they don't know what they are doing. This man is fighting a just, a just cause. Sentiments are part. Nigeria is not one, and our politicians don't know this. Buhari only made it very glary. You understand? Buhari only made it very glary. You see all this one Nigeria they have been preaching and all that. Nigeria had never been one, and Nigeria can never be one. There is no two way about it. You see these people who feel that they are born to rule, the northerners. They feel that they 
they own Nigeria. And that is the reason why the, the, the PDP national chairman, Ayu, have refused to step down up to now. What is there that he cannot step down? They have the PDP uh, uh, presidential flag bearer, uh, which is uh, Atiku Abubakar. He's from the north. Then the national chairman is from the north. And you want other persons to be clapping, you know, to be, to be clapping or, uh, and be following you people like boy boy. It not going to work again. I love what is going on. It's those people who, who are, you know, who are selfish. That don't want to see what is happening in PDP as not normal. Those who are calling wicked names because it's fighting a just curse. Those people, they are fighting because of their selfish reasons. And that is the truth. All this why you had never one day criticized the, the, the incumbent president, Muhammad Buhari, for, for uh, uh, love side uh, 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 appointment. You had never one day said it. Now, because you want to come out for president, you don't they criticize them. Now, today he appoints all those things. Now, today they begin to talk about this matter. People should, should, should try and uh, see the, the path this Mwike is, is, is trying to portray. It. People will say because he, he, uh, Atiku Abubakar did not pick him as the vice president. He said it before now that he cannot settle for second class. He said it. And that is not what he's fighting for. He said if uh, Ayu can step down, there is no problem. There will be peace. Uh, now, uh, what you want to unify Nigeria, why you cannot even unify the, the, the small crisis you are having in your own party? So tell me how you are going to unify Nigeria when you have so many regions. In those regions, you have you know, <laughs> so many, so, so, so many tribes, so many states in Nigeria, you want to unify them and you cannot unify the crisis. How many people now did that PDP? That the, the, the Atiku Abubakar cannot, you know, settle the issue on ground. This will not make Nigerians to believe that the Northerners, they are really out for something. I love the strength of Mwike, no matter how you see it. See it. I'm dropping it there, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you for always stopping. Bye. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.